So it's currently 8.10. Um, I was scheduled to be induced at 5.30, but they were booked. So we're waiting. They said earliest is probably 9 a.m. Um, so that's what we're doing right now. They thought I would have gone into labor now by myself, but nope. She's just being very stubborn. <laughs> Um, I had a membrane sweep a week ago, and then I lost a lot of my mucus plug, and then like contractions, and then everything just kind of like stopped. So, I don't know <laughs> why I didn't go naturally. I really wanted to. Um, my doctor suggested it could be induced. I'm not sure why. Um, but that's what we're doing. <laughs> so, right now we're just waiting to hear back from the hospital. Hopefully the next 45 minutes we'll hear back, and then we'll have a room, and then... Yep, so we're going to get dressed and we'll give you guys an update too. The room's so fast. Ew. <laughs> That's not a cute. Well, we're finally into the room. <clears throat> I have to pee. It's a fantastic restroom that Andre is about to use. You said that you're curious to use. Oh, they have a bathtub in here. Hmm. Okay, you got the bathtub. And show it. Towels. Huh. Where my baby is about to sit. I'm most likely going to sit. <clears throat> and our view. It's like five feet of snow. That's awkward. I hope no one can see us from there. And that's where Andre is about to be here. A few minutes until God knows when. It's actually a pretty big room too. So we're finally here. Um, she just checked me. It's 5.10. Um, I am at two and a half centimeters. Um, <laughs> my doctor is not in town. He actually left. Um, so a different doctor is going to be delivering her. And, yeah. So, and I'm having contractions on my own, too. No, you can really see that. So Jeff went to go get his Alani's and my blanket, like their bags from the car, so um, yeah, I'm having another contraction. It like it doesn't really hurt, it just like, it's like a lot of pressure and squeezing and it does not feel very good. Um, so we're going to start doing these induction, <laughs> hopefully very soon, but um, yeah, so we'll see you guys in our next update. Say hi. Stay right here. Walk around with Jeffrey. Yo, girl. Uh, Stay over here so you don't oh, no, you're gonna make a mess. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Twelve o'clock? I think it's one o'clock, isn't it? No. I honestly think that clock is wrong. Because according to that clock, it's 110. Yeah. Yeah, it's 110. Is it really 110? Is it really 110? Huh. Oh, okay. So, my watch was wrong. <laughs> yeah, it said it was like 12 o'clock. So, it is 110. She just got her epidural. Epidural. Dural. Is it epidural? Epidural. Epidural. And when she got her epidural... Her blood pressure dropped, and so did Alani's heart rate. But, 
everything's fine now. Yeah, she's at three centimeters. Yep. How did you feel about the epidural needle? Oh, it was long as shit. Uh -huh. How long the epidural needle was probably about this long. Maybe even longer. Does it go in your uh, spine? Mm -hmm. I thought nothing is allowed to touch your spine or you'll be like paralyzed or something. If he misses, yeah, he can paralyze him. If he doesn't do it right now. Just think, these doctors never had any, like, you know, teaching or anything. They could paralyze someone. Mm hmm I like that girl I watched them do. They put it went too far into her spine, and they uh, punctured her, her spine. Paralyzed her? No, she had, um, she was looking for the fluid in her spine. Oh. And your dad is out there smoking. I can see. He's like zooming in close enough. Right. Dang, this thing goes been far. Right there. What's your heart rate at now? 140. How are you feeling? Terrible. <laughs> well, a lot better now, but. Ugh. Well. I'll keep you guys in update. So, as you can obviously tell, it is um, not um, a baby being born. <laughs> um, we had a pretty crazy birth experience here, <laughs> um, so I'm going to get into that. Um, I'm really, really sad I couldn't record um, anything of this point, no, just because of kind of how things played out um the last update was i was at four centimeters <laughs> and um that was literally the last update right before she was born um i made that update around well jeff made that update around two two something i'll put it in the thing um in the morning and about an hour later i started getting um what i thought was the epidural wearing off was actually um, labor <laughs> like I mean like obviously labor but I mean like the pushing stages of labor um, I called my nurse in and she's like okay so I had moved my leg and my water broke everywhere and um, it was a pretty intense like feeling um, I felt everything for some reason um, sorry baby's right here and I'll show her in a minute. Um, and then from that point, um, and she goes, okay, well, while we're here, we might as well check you. You were just a four, so I'm going to guess probably like a six, maybe. Um, she checked me, and I was at ten. <laughs> um, as soon as she checked me, um, she was like, I was like, I have to push. I need to push. And she said, don't push. So she laid me on my side and told me, like, just to close my legs and see if that helps. And I was like, it's not helping. She couldn't find 
Alani's heartbeat. Um, obviously, I'll tell you why in a second. <laughs> um, I had, she laid me back on my back to see if she could find it there and told me, like, don't push. And I was like, I, I need to push. And I told Jeff, like, within five minutes of all this happening, um, I told Jeff, I was like, I was like, she's coming. I was like, do you see her? And he's like, no. And he walked towards me. And I was like, she's coming out right now. Um, and the lady's like, oh, no. And then she looked down. She goes, oh, my God. And she caught her. Um, it was crazy it was just my nurse in there um my doctor did not deliver my baby um it was it was a dramatic birth that I did not get to record anything of and I am so sad I didn't get to do that again with my second um but she's so beautiful <laughs> Jeff is in love with her. Luna is in love with her, and you will see that in the next video. Her getting to finally meet her. Um, so, I was going to tell you guys why they couldn't find her heartbeat. Um, so, they could not find her heartbeat because she was literally already in my birth canal coming out when the lady was pushing on my stomach trying to find it. Um, and I kept telling her, like, I need to push. I was like, I, I can't stop my body from doing this. Like, I feel, physically feel her moving out <laughs> and if you've given birth you know like usually it takes a lot of pushing and time and you know and this I like just physically felt nothing but pressure the whole way out is five minutes um after she checked me that she was born so it was not even time for anybody to be there my dad had gone home to go to sleep um, my mom and my sister, uh, everybody was at home sleeping. I told them I'd call them. I was only at a four. I shouldn't be anywhere farther. And if I was, I'd call them. Well, they missed the birth. <laughs> and we had a very dramatic birth that we didn't get to film anything of. Um, so I am really, really bummed about that. Um, as soon as she came out, the lady was like, oh my god, oh my god. And she's holding her and she's trying to like take everything out of her. They didn't even have, um, they usually bring in like a table of everything they need when you go into labor, like when you're about to be in that pushing position. And they didn't have that. I mean, she literally came out. They didn't have anything to cut the core. They didn't have anything to anything. And it was, it was crazy. It was, did you drop that? Come here, monkey butt. Here you go. Where is she? Nope, all these things go. Here you go. So, yeah. Um, after birth, I... So, I didn't get to the pushing stage at all. So, my body did not, like... It didn't expel all of my water, and it didn't expel any kind of blood prior to her coming <laughs> out. Um, and that made it so I was getting a lot of blood clots. I'm bleeding more than normal, but I think we have a little bit under control now. Um, she's doing great with breastfeeding. Um, I'm going to do an update to like her going home. Hopefully, we're hoping she'll go home tomorrow. Um, update her one day old update <laughs> and um, hopefully we'll go home tomorrow but there's some little things going on that we might not be able to go home tomorrow just because of her um, I, it sounds like they think it's possible that she will be fine to go home but we'll see um, so I will actually show you guys her in just a few minutes. I'm going to get ready to feed her anyway, hopefully soon. And yeah. 